This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti and I'm going to tell you how to turn a tragedy into a triumph. If you had a snowstorm like we did here in the Pacific Northwest, one of the first trees to lose branches is going to be the coral bark maple. Uh, the maples are kind of weak-limbed, and when the snow sits on them, they lose their big, beautiful branches. Now, the tree's actually going to do quite well after these um, big branches fall off, because, oh, we grew, no ones. we grew new ones. But look at this. I am clipping off these bright red branches of the coral bark maple, taking this tragedy, and then I'm going to use them to add even more early spring color to my spring planters. Now, I recently filled this planter, removed all the summer stuff that died in the winter, of course, and I filled it with very cold tolerant calendulas and primroses. And now, just to add some more color that's going to be uh, actually looking good probably until May or June when I replant these with summer blooms, you can see how that gives it such a great dramatic flare. And I put these branches all around and throughout the planter. Uh, you can also do it as I did over here. I put them just towards the back. This planter already had some black mondo grass. And I added the calendula and the primroses for this early winter color. Adding just the bright shock of orange gives it that height, gives it some line. You can even fill an empty basket with your bare branches of the coral bark maple. So, the next time you find branches that have fallen in the garden, think about how you can recycle and reuse them for garden display. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.